Hey folks, welcome back to the channel on our next gunsmith video. This time we're on to part eight, the AKS 74N, which has a bunch of Zenical parts. It's got a couple of barters that are gonna save you some money and some very specific parts you need to pay attention to or the build won't complete. So let's get into it so you got everything figured out and you can get this done. All right, so for the mechanic gunsmith part nine, he wants a AKS 74N Zenit parts. Ergo has to be 65, recoil less than 275. Gun shouldn't take out more than 10 slots. Uh, most importantly, he says it needs a B30 handguard, a B31S upper handguard rail, RK0 foregrip, AK12 magazine, the Clash 20 or 2 IKS, uh, DTK1. Zenit all around, so it's a bunch of specifically named parts. So let's make sure we get those for you and show you how to get them without breaking the bank. So the first thing up is you're gonna need an AKS-74N, very specifically the AKS, not the AK-74N, the AKS. It's gonna have this open stock on the back. Uh, it is available on proper loyalty level two, I believe is where he's at. Let's go look here real quick. Yeah, right here, proper loyalty level two. Once you have the gun, the next thing we're going to go after is the primary barter part you're going to get. And this is going to be on mechanic loyalty level two. This is going to be the handguard. Very, very, very expensive if you don't do the barter. So don't burn extra money if you need to. It's right here. This B30 handguard. It's three RAM. So uh, it's going to cost what? Uh, I might actually be able to buy it. So I might not do the barter, but it's three RAM. That's going to cost you about 45K, 30 to 45K, depending on how expensive RAM are. If you try to buy this off the flea market, you can see that it is extraordinarily expensive, 130, 150, sometimes even 200K. So do not do that. We'll go in here and we'll get the RAM because I can't buy it even yet because obviously it's task locked or level locked or something. And that's the primary part that you're gonna wanna focus on right out the gate is this B30. Now, something I wanna bring up for a lot of these other parts because they can be expensive if you don't have them unlocked. Rashala's guards, some of the uh, Gluhar guards, other bosses, uh, Kolontai's guys, or sorry, well, Kolontai, but also Kaban, they can have these AK-74Ms, these Zenicos. And the important part you want to look for is this B-33 handguard and the RK-3. It's going to be two great pieces to get in raid from various different places if you can find these. Sorry, fuzzball on my microphone. Uh, th that's going to be a big part of the expenses here. So keep that in mind. I'm going to build it without these. I just wanted to show you that so that you knew they were there. Um, we'll put this away and out of the way so that it doesn't eat up the rest of our space. Now, two of the other big important parts that I want to point out that you make sure you get right, and we'll get them in the build screen, but I just want to make sure that you guys get these parts specifically. First is the 2-1KS. It's going to be on Skier. It's going to be on Loyalty Level 2. And the reason is, is there's two of these that look very similar to each other. You have the Clash 2P flashlight and the 21 or 2 IKS IR. And for the most part, they look identical. This is why you need to be careful about which one you buy because I'm going to buy both of these right here just to show you. You can see here in your inventory, they don't look all that much different. The only difference is their names. You want the K2IKS IR. That's what you want. Uh, let me sell these so that they show back up in the the sell screen properly or the build screen. So let's just open up the gun um, and get our pre-built in here. We'll go to Gunsmith Part 8, turn on all the parts, and here you go. So here's the B33, the B30, you got your RK1, but you also need the um, the PT lock, which is can be a, a hard part to get with the PT3, an RK0, the 21KS, and the DTK1. The other thing that goes back and forth, and I didn't check this and I should have before I built, is the specific mag you've got to buy. There are two kinds of mags here, this AK12 magazine. So let's go look at that real quick and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So as you can see right here, there's two AK-12 mags. There's this AK, just the 30 round, and then the early model. Do not use this early model. It will not work. It's got to be this one right here. So make sure you're using the right magazine. In the pre-build screen, it does uh, show up properly if you look through here. It says AK-12 old. Do not use that one. Use the other one. So let's assemble this. We'll buy the parts. The thing that's going to be missing here, obviously, is the B30 because we did the barter for it. But here's everything else you will need to do this build. It's about 122K. Um, I don't have the RK3 unlocked myself. I got it. So it's a 42K right now. This can get more expensive. If you have this unlocked, it shaves about 30 to 40K off the build. But we're not there. So we'll go back to... Uh, We'll go back to buying everything from scratch. Everything else is pretty cheap as long as you have traders. Uh, the PT3, there's a lot of skier level three stuff. The PT3 is on skier three. The uh, Zenit PT lock is on skier loyalty level two. The B33 dust cover is on uh, skier loyalty level three, as well as Zenit three, but that's after missing cargo. Uh, the DTK1 is on skier two. 
The RK-0 is skier loyalty level three. The AK-12 mag is proper loyalty level three, but they're pretty cheap as you can see, um, even without it. And then again, the T, uh, the two IKS IR Eliminator is on skier loyalty level two. These mags are not too bad though, if you don't have them. Um, one thing I do want to point out that you can tell the difference. The IR Illuminator has a red face on it in the green build in the gun build screen, whereas the two IKS, or I'm sorry, the uh, the Clash does not. It has a flashlight. So that's going to be one way that you can see in this screen if you have the right one or not. Um, just a little bit of tidbit of information there. So we'll assemble this. We'll buy all the parts. We'll slap her together here real quick. And I will show you guys what she looks like in the screen. And that's your build right there. But that's it for Gunsmith Part 8. Nothing really crazy in there to show you because it doesn't give you a lot of options because the specific parts. But hopefully this was still helpful in getting you the gun built without any mistakes or hangups. We'll wrap the video up there. Thank you guys for watching. And we'll see you in the next Gunsmith.